Hello, good morning and welcome all of you to my YouTube channel Connect to Physics. So in today's topic, we are going to discuss about a new concept that is condition for the laser action. ठीक है तो ये जो कंडीशन फॉर द लेजर एक्शन एक्चुअली है क्या चीज बोल के बोले तो व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू ऑपरेट अ लेजर डिवाइस थिंक दैट वी हैव अ लेजर डिवाइस व्हेन यू व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू स्विच ऑन दैट लेजर डिवाइस द लेजर बीम विल कम आउट सो व्हेन द लेजर बीम्स आर गोइंग टू कम आउट फ्रॉम अ डिवाइस दीस आर व्हिच फॉलोस सम नेसेसरी कंडीशंस सो व्हाट आर दोस कंडीशंस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन टुडेस क्लास ओके सो नाउ आई विल राइट द हेडिंग दैट इज कंडीशंस condition for the laser action okay so this is our today's title now i will write that what are the following conditions that we are going to discuss in today's class means see the first condition is pumping okay so pumping is nothing but that words in general when you are going to study we are we have to be we are giving some force okay if i want to move this object from here to from from this place to this place means i am forcing that means that uh, we have to be give some force to the object to move from one place to another place that phenomena we are going to consider it as pumping okay so that's why I, now here i will write pumping is nothing but force force to move something okay so the next phenomena is pumping source clear so when you are going to move something from one place to another place means you have to be give that force in the form of source clear now pumping source in the case of laser you want to move ground state items from excitation state clear here i will know see this is energy level diagram see once the ground state atom will go to the excitation state means you are giving some amount of energy to this atom that means you are supplying some amount of source in the form of photon you are supplying the photons of energy then only this ground state atom which moves to the excitation state this phenomena is called as pumping source so pumping source means rising of an atom from ground state to excitation state clear rising of an atom from ground state that is the short form ground state to excitation state that is called pumping source now our third important necessary condition that is active medium active medium so active medium is nothing but this is a main important thing where all the laser process is going to begin okay so active medium is nothing but the process of laser is going to begin that is called active medium clear active medium is nothing but process which begins that is called as active medium so the fourth important necessary condition is population inversion population inversion see the population inversion is a very important topic the population inversion means we have two energy levels okay this is energy level e1 and this is energy level e2 so at room temperature we are observing that number of atoms which are present in ground state clear so when you are going to move this atom from ground state to excitation state means you have to be give some amount of energy clear so when you are going to give some amount of energy these electrons which move from ground state to excitation state clear so after some time what happen after completion of their lifetime period again they will come to the this state okay here they will come and they will stay for some time so this state we are call it as an metastable state metastable state so population is inversion is nothing but maintaining more number of electron in excitation state is called as population inversion i will repeat maintaining 
more number of electron in excitation state compared to the ground state is called as population inversion. This is the fourth point. Now the fifth necessary condition is stimulated emission. Okay, stimulated emission. This is the fifth necessary condition. We know that stimulated emission is nothing but when electron which moves from excitation state to ground state by releasing photons of energy that is called as stimulated emission. Clear? This one we have already discussed while we are studying principles of laser. Clear? We see the, when these uh, excitation electron which comes from excitation state to ground state which releases a photons of energy this phenomena is called as stimulated emission. This is the fifth point. And the sixth necessary condition is amplification. Clear? Sixth necessary condition is amplification. We know that amplification is nothing but which provide a strength to the weaker signal. That is called as amplification. Clear? Providing providing strength to weaker signal called as amplification. Our next sixth important necessary condition is optical resonator. Okay. Sixth, seventh one is optical resonator. See optical resonator is a device. Okay. It's a type of electronics device. Why we are going to use in this uh, laser means uh, we want a sharp intensity of beam that has to be come out from the laser device. That's why to make a uh, sharp intensity here we are going to use optical resonator. Okay. So the work of optical resonator is to create or to make sharp intensity of light or you can say beam. Okay, this is the work of optical resonator and after completion of all these process, finally we will get 8th step is output. Okay, so this is the final step output. This output we will get in the form of laser. Okay, so these are the necessary conditions. After completion of these condition only we will get a laser beam from that device. I hope all of you have understand the concept of condition for the laser action. If you like my video, please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching my channel.